What's up, everyone? I know that it's been a while since I've been on here, and let's go ahead and dive into it and catch up. Y'all, things have been a bit cray around here. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it, um, but in late February here in central Oklahoma, we got some pretty significant tornadic weather. And so I knew about this really significant weather event coming up. Um, Ryan, y'all, I watch him. Shout out to Ryan, y'all. Love him. Reed Timmer. Love Reed Timmer. Reed Timmer. If you guys don't watch Reed Timmer, he's amazing. And Reed got some amazing footage of the tornadic weather in Oklahoma, as he always does. As the days were building to this event, I knew it was coming. I knew it was going to be significant. And as I was watching the weather event come in, it just kept getting worse and, and just kept getting bad from even worse than that. And then it was kind of creeping in on my area. And I was like, oh, all right. I don't have my tornado shelter ready to go yet. I haven't vacuumed it out or put any of my necessary supplies in it yet. But yeah, it came. It came right for me. I'm right by the high school that my kids go to. And so they were like, hey, if you're near this high school, you've got to be underground right now. You've got to be taking cover. And man, we just, you know, made a beeline for the tornado shelter. But the problem with our tornado shelter is the fact that getting Great Danes into a storm shelter is not easy. So I knew that I might have to get them in the storm shelter. So I got their harnesses on about 15 minutes or so before the tornado sirens started to go off. Oh my God. It was just, it was, it was like a cartoon. It was like a cartoon getting in there and I could hear the whistling outside. So if anybody has ever been in a tornado, you know that there's this like freight train whistling noise that you will hear outside and then it gets completely still and completely quiet and nothing moves and there's not a sound. And when you hear that quiet, <laughs> that's when you're seconds away from the shit hitting the fan. Um, so I kept hearing the whistling and, and the blowing and it never really got quiet. It was an intense 20 minutes, you know, down there in the shelter, hearing everything rumble outside. And my daughter took a photo of us when we were in the storm shelter. And so of course, I used it as, as a moment to create a meme. Because I was thinking to myself in that moment, that my entire house, everything in it, my office, all of it could be gone, everything could completely blow away. But the fact was, that 100% of my client's data was protected in the Microsoft 365 cloud in OneDrive. You know, I, I, I felt really good about it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm totally going to create a meme about this um, and let everyone know. It was intense. Okay, moving on past that topic, I, I have a, a funny story that I like to think about things that I want to manifest in my life. And I write those things down and I put them on sticky notes and I put those sticky notes on a cabinet that I have just above my head here. So whenever I walk into my office, I see those sticky notes every day. One of the sticky notes that I have, <laughs> I wrote Forbes on it. That's it. Just wrote Forbes on it. But the thing about manifesting is I think you got to get really specific with the universe and telling the universe what it is that you want. Because the next week I got contacted by a law firm that had the name Forbes in it. <laughs> so it was like, all right, funny stuff, universe. You're listening, but apparently I wasn't specific enough. All right. So I wrote magazine underneath Forbes on my sticky note. So hopefully Forbes magazine comes in here and, and I manifest that here pretty soon. But anyway, on that note, I have a huge strategic partnership that has been announced with the Beyond Paralegals crew. I'm super happy to announce this partnership because it's a really big freaking deal for all of my paralegal boss students, for all the people who have reached out to me for services. This strategic partnership, I mean, beyond paralegals and paralegal boss, the common denominator here is paralegal and it's you. And it's providing a community and a resource and it's providing 
volumes and volumes of information that we're going to provide to our future paralegals, to our veteran paralegals who are looking to level things up, for people who are looking for a community where they're not going to receive judgment from others. It is not going to be in Facebook. It's not going to be in Instagram. It is a privately hosted community going to be a community like you've never seen before for paralegals. So stay tuned for more information about that. I can't wait to bring more information to you. Um, but speaking of strategic partnerships, that's not the only one. That is not the only partnership I have made since um, I stopped posting a few weeks ago. I've been really flipping busy, y'all. I've been really busy because one of the issues that I have, and you guys know this because I've posted videos about this in the past, is one of the issues I have is that we have a lot of these online certificate programs for paralegals. Um, you know, you enroll in a course, you go through online, and you get this certificate at the end. And then you need to go through the process of getting certified by NALA to become a certified paralegal. The problem is that a lot of those sort of broad and general programs aren't really preparing you for that certification process. And the information that you're learning there really isn't converting to being on the job. And so I have been really searching for a program that I am willing to recommend to future paralegals who are watching this channel. It's a program that is not going to take you years to get through. It's a program that you're gonna be able to take online and at your own pace because there are a lot of paralegals or, or wanting to be paralegals who reached out to me and said, I know that you said you wanted me to enroll in a community college or a local college, but there just aren't any. You know, and so for those of you who can't go to a community college because there aren't any around you or who can't go through a community college because you can't handle the schedules or can't th go through a community college because you can't handle the cost, then I want you to stay tuned because I can't I can't announce this partnership yet. It's huge. It's in the works. I'm I'm this close, guys. I'm this close to announcing it. It's it's going to be great. This is going to be one of the most valuable resources that I can offer to our future paralegals. If you are in high school right now and you're thinking about becoming a paralegal, stay tuned to this channel because I am going to have a recommendation for you guys that is going to knock your freaking socks off. It's an accredited program. It's gonna convert to you landing that job. And then when you're done with that program, you're gonna get to circle back to me. And we're gonna talk about technology training and we're gonna get you into community resources that's going to help you develop and grow as a paralegal. So I'm not just doing the strategic partnership with Beyond Paralegals and that whole program over there for people who are paralegals or wanting to level up with their education in being a paralegal. I got this whole program going on over here for our future paralegals, for, for people who are graduating high school and are wanting to enter into a program that converts to on the job or that converts to getting a job, you know, let alone converting to, to actually going on the job, but just getting the job, just getting the interview, you know? So stay tuned for that information. Since my paralegal communities here are being taken care of by these programs. Now let's talk about the Microsoft 365 people. Let's talk about all the people who are coming onto Microsoft 365 and who are wanting to learn more about those Microsoft 365 applications. If you haven't already heard, I am also starting a community for the Microsoft 365 Accelerator for the Legal Professional. Now, what this is going to do is we're going to come together as a community and keep the learning momentum going with those Microsoft 365 applications. Now, I have been saying this for years. I have been saying this since 2019, and I think people are finally starting to listen because they're starting to see this information being posted out there by people other than me. That is the fact that Microsoft is going through one of its 
biggest branding changes in the last 30 years. Now, for most people who are veteran paralegals and who have been working for businesses and in the workforce for years, we have been very used to the Microsoft suites. That is how we got all of those Microsoft applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. We got those by using the Microsoft suites. When we went and bought a PC and we got an operating system, that was part of the Microsoft um experience, you know, that was part of the operating system is, is getting those office suites with it. Now, the problem with office suites throughout the years is people like me were constantly worried about the versions of Microsoft um, that people had on their resume. You know, what version of Microsoft Word are you using or what version of Excel are you using? Are you using it on a PC? Are you using it on a Mac? And which operating system were you using it in? All of those things made a difference because it made a difference on how that information converted to the version that we were currently using. Now, what Microsoft has figured out since the pandemic, because the entire world shifted because of the pandemic, was that versions were no longer feasible. They were no longer scalable. And so to unify the experience, the Microsoft experience for all of those Microsoft customers everyone is going under that Microsoft 365 umbrella. All of those applications that you're using that came with your Windows 10, your Windows 11 operating system, I believe by 2025, those applications will no longer be supported. Everybody will be under a unified experience in Microsoft 365. So this is both good and bad. It's good for the consumer because we're no longer having to go out and update our versions. We're always going to have the latest version of the Microsoft products under that Microsoft 365 umbrella. The bad part about that is that you will be required to pay for a Microsoft 365 subscription. Sorry about that, but Microsoft on top of everybody else in technology right now is hip to the fact that memberships are key. Um, and that's gonna be how they maintain you as a user. So for all of you paralegals who are in college right now, for all of you high school students who are looking to be paralegals and going into a college program, I know that you're going to be exposed to other software developer companies like Clio who have case management systems and they hope that you leave school and talk to those attorneys about that case management system. I cannot guarantee you that whenever you leave that paralegal program, you're going to run into Clio at the first law firm or legal operations team that you work with. But I can 100% guarantee you, you will be working with a Microsoft 365 application. And so if you haven't already, you need to do it now. You need to start working on those Microsoft 365 applications and getting intimately familiar with the way that the experience is offered to you right now. Because everybody else who is using those independent applications for Windows 10 isn't using the same Microsoft 365 experience. So get ahead of that curve right now and start learning all of those Microsoft 365 products. Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint. Sure, learn how to use all of those. But beyond that, you need to learn how to use Microsoft Teams, Microsoft SharePoint, OneDrive, OneNote, Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Planner, Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Sway, Microsoft Lists. All of these things that I am mentioning here convert to day-to-day -day processes that you will be doing on the job at a law firm, in a legal operations team for a big corporate entity, it doesn't matter where you go, Microsoft is going Microsoft 365 to unify that experience for everyone. So for all of those people from 2019, 2020, 2021, who were like, no, this isn't what's going to happen. We're still going to get these applications. Stop, stop talking about, about your services in my group. Well, you better start talking about these services in your group because every single paralegal starting, absolutely starting in 2025, will have no choice but to use a Microsoft 365 application. So 
get your users on board right now. If you're a law firm listening to this, get your users on board. If you're a student, if you're a, a, a paralegal looking to level up, you've got to get on board with Microsoft 365 applications. Because if you don't, you're going to be forced into it and you're not going to be given much of a learning curve and you're going to hate it. Now, I get it. I am 42 years old. I went kicking and screaming out of WordPerfect into Microsoft Word. I was pissed that I had to give up my reveal codes. I mean, for, for a lot of us veteran paralegals, you you know me, you feel me, you were doing the same thing. And a lot of people feel that way about Outlook right now. People are kicking and screaming, getting out of that Windows 10, Windows 11 application Outlook experience and going into OWA, going into Microsoft 365 Outlook on the web. The reason why you have to do that right now is because that is the only unified experience that you are going to get. And if you are working with SharePoint and you are working with teams and you are not using the Microsoft Outlook experience on the web, then you are missing out, man. Microsoft just spent $10 billion on AI and you are not going to get any of that AI experience as long as you are using those independent applications. You got to go on the web. And again, I know that a lot of us went kicking and screaming out of Word Perfect and Word, but think about it now. I can't imagine my life without Microsoft Word. I would not want to go back now to the Word Perfect experience. Don't put me back there. Next up, I want to talk about my Microsoft Lists mini course. For those of you who pre-enrolled in that course, that course is going to be available very soon. I believe we've got five, six, seven days maybe left. It's it's March 13th and it's being released a week from now. So seven days from this date, it will be released. All of those people who pre-enrolled, you're going to get that. Um, all of those people who haven't pre-enrolled, the price is going to raise after I completely launch it. So if you want to pre-enroll and now and get the price that it's at now, please do so. I have a huge client load right now that I'm trying to wrap up and finish their stuff on. I've got these two partnerships that I'm about to jump into. I got my Microsoft 365 Accelerator community that I'm still trying to get off the ground, which comes this spring, by the way. So check out the link in the description box below and you can sign up for the Microsoft 365 Accelerator. You can also sign up to pre-enroll in the Microsoft Lists mini course. Um, and, and there are lots of links in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. All right. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching my YouTube shorts. Thank you for liking this. Thank you sub for subscribing this. Um, thank you for being part of this community and good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs an amazing paralegal boss just like you. Don't forget to check out the description box. All the links that I've mentioned in this video will be below and more information is definitely coming soon about the new paralegal program that I'm going to be recommending. The only paralegal program ever that I have ever recommended to anyone on this channel. I'm going to be announcing that soon. So stay tuned. Mwah! Have an amazing day. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you guys back here on the next one. Bye, guys.